Hey there, it's me, Kelly the Tech Action Mom again. I wanted to real quick, I got a couple of questions regarding some editing of images when they're already in your blog using the new WordPress 3.9. Um, actually, WordPress did another update this morning, or I got it this morning anyways, 3.9.1, but it doesn't look like any of the image editing stuff got changed with that, so we're still cool here. Um, I had a couple questions about editing images when they're in your blog using WordPress. So let me real quick go over those. The first question I got was uh, <clears throat> how to uh, uh, text wrap. How do you get the text wrap? Because when I added my image to this, it automatically wrapped the text. That all has to do with your alignment. There used to be some things you could do to adjust that. They've taken, they've taken those out of there. But um, basically, text wrapping is really simple. You either move it to the left, and the text wraps around it this way, or you align it to the right, and the text wraps around it this way. See how it's wrapped around there, nice and neat. Um, it's really nothing more to it than that. The other options you have are center, which which positions your, and let's look at that, let me show you how that looks. It positions your image over the text up at the top so that the text is not wrapped. It will either be, you can put that in the middle and the text will go above or below it and below it, or you can put it at the top of your post and the text will just start below it. So it doesn't wrap in this case, it just goes above and below. Uh, your other option is to say none, and that's what this does. It starts your, your you put your image in there and your text starts immediately after the image. And your image is going to be to the left because it just starts right at the beginning of the post. And you can see how that looks. It's kind of... There you go. See how that does. Um, not really super pretty, but you know there, there are times when you need it. Like if you want to put three images in a row or you know you can have them one right after the other because they'll all just go in one. I'm just pointing with my finger like you can see the video. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I mean I'm using my finger to point at my monitor as if you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can put images like one, two, three right in a row across the top that way by using none. So it is helpful in some situations. Um, but for this we want text wrap so I just put it to the right. I like to put it to the right at the beginning. I'll show you. Let's see if I try it to the left. Do preview changes. Sorry, my inter my internet's really slow, so sometimes it takes a second here. Now you see, I don't like doing it to the left when I'm at the top of the post here because you can see sometimes, depending on the size of the image, you see how it wraps here. Your the end of this sentence right here is starting way over here, and it just looks kind of weird separated out like that. You've got a word standing out all by itself, so that's why I usually like to. Um, position at least my top image over to the right and that way it aligns your text a little better and you don't end up with words all off by themselves. It all kind of stays to the left there. Okay, so that's that one. And that's how you get your text to wrap. You just check left or right when you and, and actually you can do this um, when you add media I just picked something from my media library real quick. You can choose the alignment right here, right from the get-go. And whichever one you choose, if I choose to put something in there with an alignment to the left, that it's gonna stay left here. It's gonna sticky into that, into that option. And it's gonna stay there until I change it. If the next one I do, I put center, then when I come back, it's automatically gonna be at center. So whatever you use, Whatever the last the last option that you use, that's where it's going to be when you come back. So don't freak out if that cuts. Every time I come back, it's different. Why doesn't it? You know, it all depends on how you used it last. So that's how you get the text to wrap. You either use left or right alignment, and the text automatically wraps. Now, the next question I had was, I heard that there's a way to edit the images right in the editor. How do I do that? There are some minor image editing options that that WordPress gives you. You can't like create, it's not like Photoshop or anything like that. You're not going to get any super awesome 
um, things that you can do, but there are a few little things that you can do. And what you need to do, let me go back here and tell you. Uh, you click on the image. I saw some people on, a, on another message board were complaining because they would hover over the image and they didn't see how to get to the editor. Well, you have to click the image in and that brings up the editor. This, if you click on the X, it will delete your image from the post. If you click on the little pencil, it brings up the image editor. And that gives you some basic, you can add a caption, you can add some your alt text, you can change the size if you want to give it a specific size. Um, you can change what you're linking to if you want to, if you want for people to link on this image and go to another URL, you can put custom URL in here and then add the address that you want it to go to down here. You also have a few advanced options. There aren't as many as there used to be, but I don't think anything that's missing is really a big deal. Um, link rel here. And the what you can put here is you can put your no follow attributes down here. Um, you can write no follow in there and it will automatically create that link as a no follow, whatever link you have in here will automatically be a no will convert to a no follow link. Which if you saw one of my previous posts you can see why you would want to do that. But there are easier ways to do it than coming in here and clicking all this stuff and writing it in there. Um, <clears throat> the other option you have here is to edit the original image. If you click here, and come on baby, where are you? There you go. With this, there are a few simple, simple edits that you can make. You can rotate your image to the left or right, like this. You can flip it either vertically or horizontally. There's a flip, a vertical flip or excuse me, horizontal, yeah, here's a horizontal flip. Exciting, exciting, isn't it? Um, those are some really very basic, but one thing that is super cool that you can do here is if you decide that this image is a little much or you want to change just a little bit of it, you can actually crop your image in this editor now. And that works really well for thumbnails because sometimes what is shown in the thumbnail over here isn't really what you want showing. Sometimes it like pulls a section out of the middle of an image and doesn't really um, look good as a thumbnail. So if you decide that you want to change your thumbnail, you can come over here and you can click and drag to select a part. Now say I just wanted it to show the text in my thumbnail. I could select that part right there, just a little bit bigger, <coughs> excuse me, and then I could go over here, apply changes to the thumbnail only, and then I would apply that, save it, and this part that I have selected here, that would be my new thumbnail. Now I don't really want to do that because I'm happy with the thumbnail that this is showing, but I just wanted to show you how you could get that done. And it will only change the way it looks in the thumbnail. Your image and your post will remain the same. So let's cancel out of that. That's okay with me if I lose those changes. Close that. And that's it. So those are a couple things that you can do with your images in the new WordPress 3.9. I hope that um, information is valuable to you. And um, I'll see you next time on the blog. Don't forget to stop by thetakeactionwom.com. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.